Today's Cowboys Panthers preview is made possible by Rex MD. They are giving you their best deal yet, up to 95% off. We go to rexmd.com slash chat for starter packs or generic Viagra and Cialis. We'll tell you more about them later on in today's show. But if you want the Cowboys to keep the blowout, make it a blowout streak, I should say, but keep it going against a bad team in Carolina, like the video right now. The more likes we get, the more likely it is the Cowboys will take care of business against Carolina this week. Cowboys are big favorites against Carolina, and for good reason. Carolina has the worst record in football. The Cowboys have the number two scoring offense, the number five scoring defense, and Carolina is bottom four in this area. They are 17 points per game and 26.9 points per game allowed, scored and allowed, I should say. It is not a good Carolina team. It is, it's, it's, it's just not. That's why they're 11-point road favorites, one of the larger road favorite spreads of the season. I got to check that. I might, might finish more like 12 based on it. It rose a full point against the Giants, and they still covered. Might continue to be the case moving forward. The Cowboys coming off a big-time win over the Giants that preceded a loss against Philadelphia, but then good wins over the Rams and Chargers, the disastrous loss against San Francisco. In the past four weeks, this team has kind of gotten things correct, even with the loss against Philadelphia, and the offense is clicking with some changes made by Mike McCarthy and company. Now, the Panthers, meanwhile, blowout loss against the Lions, blowout loss against the Dolphins, narrow win over Houston, by the way, a blowout loss to an extent, a, a sizable loss against, against Indy and a narrow loss against Chicago. By the way, a rather rough press conference for Frank Reich said, who's going to call the plays? Says, we'll see. He already took away the, he already gave up the play calling uh, after the bye. These three games, it was, it was Thomas Brown, the OC, calling the plays. And now after the mini bye, apparently Carolina doesn't know who's going to call the plays. And that's, that's become a dumpster fire in, in Carolina quickly. They are in a, Job-saving mode, I think, already. What is your confidence level in the Cowboys beating up on the Carolina Panthers? One is the low end, 10 is the high end. I feel like it's going to be a lot of high-end numbers since it's an 11-point road spread. Sound off for me in the comments section right now at the pinned comment of today's video. Confidence level in the Cowboys beating the Carolina Panthers. The ad comes on YouTube, take advantage of it, and go vote. Let's hit the injury news that we know of as of filming. Kevontae Turpin did not play last week with that shoulder injury, which I think the adrenaline wore off because he returned to the game after suffering it against Philadelphia and then didn't practice at all. If he can get some, some work in this week, I think he'll be able to play. Playoff game, I think he does play. You know, week 11 road game against Carolina, I'm not so sure. Jordan Lewis left the Giants game with an apparent shoulder injury. Cowboys said they got out of the game healthy which makes me think that they're going to be okay and they're not too concerned about it, but we will monitor this one as well. Again, the injury report comes out on Wednesday and we'll have a good feel at that point for any injuries or ones that popped up that they, uh, they hid from us and did not tell because sometimes they lie about that. Tyron Smith is healthy. I, and I hope they do this, I think they will. I think you shall see the Cowboys continue to utilize Tyron Smith as a non-participant early in the week of practice. NIR, not injury-related, did not participate. Wednesday, Thursday, does the walkthrough stuff. Keep the, uh, the, the reps low because he doesn't need them. He's still playing great. And I am trying to survive with Tyron Smith being healthy. It, it is a, you know he's going to get hurt. It's going to happen. You hope it's minor when it does. You know he's, he's already been hurt this year, of course. You just want to keep him as healthy as possible. I do think, especially with... You're going to go Sunday, Sunday, or sorry, you're going Sunday, Thursday, Thursday now. This is a gauntlet for you. It's a very tough stretch of, of football games. Need to be healthy because you've got a tougher slate of games coming up beginning against the Seahawks. Not this, not the next Thursday, but the one after that. Now, today's show was made possible by Rex MD. Are you sometimes lacking confidence in the bedroom? Do you wish you have a more fulfilling sex life? You are not alone. That's why we're excited to tell you guys about Rex MD, the online source for men's wellness. They are an easy and discreet way to get the medication you need for ED without having to visit a doctor's office with just a few clicks. Your medication is delivered straight to your door at a fraction of the cost of traditional pharmacies. RexMD's team of licensed physicians will work with you to find the right treatment plan 
and the medication is made in the USA. You can trust its quality. Plus, their customer support team is available 24-7 to answer any questions or concerns you may have. If you want to take control of your sex life and say goodbye to ED, head on over to rexmd.com slash chat to start your consultation today. Take advantage of their best they've ever offered. Get to 95% off and a free gift with our exclusive link. It's rexmd.com slash chat for this limited time deal. Starter packs of generic Viagra or Cialis are available to get started. It's rexmd.com slash chat for 95% off. Links in the comments and the description of today's show. Let's talk keys to victory. Number one, defensive dominance. This is a game that really does favor the Cowboys' defense and we will say favors the Cowboys a lot in this game because you're a playoff team and they certainly are not. The Panthers' offensive rankings. I think EPA is really good. It's expected points added for the overall health of your That's what the stat measures. It's how healthy is your offense, how good is it. They are 29th in EPA per play and being negative in that category. They are 27th in passing EPA per play and 28th in rushing EPA per play. By all metrics, it's a bottom five offense. And a big reason why is their passing game and their quarterback has not been very good. Now, again, EPA per play is a health of the passing game offense, which when your O-line's not very good, you have no speed and no real playmakers. Adam Thielen's been solid. You don't, and you have a, a, a first-year QB, it's normally not a good thing. Bryce Young is 31st in EPA per play. It's a little bit lower than the passing EPA per play because Dalton played pretty well the one game he got to go. They're, 70, they're 32nd in success rate. There are 33 qualifying players. So we're talking bottom two, bottom three here. And in QBR, he's 31st at 33.1. Simply put, Bryce Young and the Panthers' offense have been a disaster so far this season. The offense might have a coach, mind you. So will the Cowboys cover that 11-point spread this week? Y for yes, N for no. Sound off in the comments section. Key to victory number two, it is defensive. Or sorry, DAC dominance, not defensive dominance here. Again, let's do EPA per play on the offense. Cowboys are fifth in total EPA, third in passing EPA, despite being 14th in rushing EPA. What does that tell you? The passing offense, namely Dak and Lamb, Cooks last week, Ferguson the week before that, have carried this offense, which is what our eyes all tell us as well. Dak Prescott rankings, same ones as Bryce Young. He's third in EPA per play. He's really good. It's, you know, Purdy and Allen above him right now. Fifth in success rate. When Dak drops back and makes a play, it's a good play over half the time. It's a really good rate. And then third in QBR behind Allen and I believe Mahomes in there as well because he has played lights out the past month and a half in particular, well, up until the Niners game, and was playing pretty well beyond the Niners game on top of that, but he's been great the past four games he's played. So how do you feel Dak Prescott has played this year? Great in for me. I'm sure this won't be a controversial weigh-in somehow. A, for, or a, B, C, D, or F, grade Dak in the comments right now. Key to victory number three. How about you run the rock some more? This is a matchup that really does favor the Cowboys ground game having immense success. All right? The rush EPA per play, defense allowed. The Carolina Panthers are dead last in the NFL. 0.071 expected points added per run play. Chiefs are second last. Broncos are 30th, Miami's 29th, and the Bengals are 28th. To put this number in perspective, the Ravens have the best offense in rush EPA per play at a number lower than Carolina. The opposing team when they play Carolina on average has the best ground game in football. Ah, oh, let's run the football this week. Let's make it easy on the offense, right? You saw more success against the Giants. Tony Pollard, I thought, had some nice big runs. Rico Dowdle looked really good against the Panthers. Over the course of the season, Dowdle's efficiency numbers are very impressive. Pollard's, eh, not so much, but I think the past couple of weeks, things have been much better for Pollard to an extent. They've been, they've been on, on, the, on the increase, let's put it that way there. And I hope they continue to use Rico Dowdle moving forward because that worked out quite well. 
Pick the score for me of Carolina against Dallas. I think we're all going to take Dallas to win, but get those score predictions in the comment section right now. Key to victory number four, the turnover battle. Much was made, not by me, I defended it because I was right, over the Dak turnover stuff. Here are the numbers this year. Dak Prescott, six interceptions. He's had seven turnover-worthy plays this year. Zero fumbles and zero fumbles lost. To put it in perspective, that 7 and 1.9% is the best mark of any qualifying quarterback in the NFL. No quarterback has done a better job of not making mistakes than Dak Prescott this year. Yet people will still try to call him a turnover machine because they just don't know ball. Bryce Young, as bad as he's been, actually hasn't been that bad in this area. 7 INTs, 11 turnovers, only 3%. Not a bad figure. The bad figures are some of your, you know, your journeyman Heineke S quarterbacks out there. That's a tinge high, but not bad for a first year player. Four fumbles, two of them lost. You want to beat a bad team? Win the turnover battle, or at least don't lose it. Now, we will be live for the Cowboys Panthers game. We are for every single game. It's not going to be a nationally televised game. If you don't live in Dallas, you might not have it even. So make sure you sub and tune in. We'll do some giveaways. Have some fun as well. Hit that sub button right now. Final key to victory. I'm calling this a trap game. So don't fall for the trap. This is the type of game you should win easily. But Cowboys have one of these a year. They had it against Texans last year. Kind of in a similar spot as this current Panthers team. The Panthers come off a mini buy. They, they played on Thursday night last week. A painful loss have had extra time to prep and get healthy, etc. Meanwhile, I don't want to get too cocky if you're the Cowboys. We can get cocky as media and fans because who cares? Don't the Cowboys get too cocky. Don't smell your own farts a little bit too much there and come out flat like you have at some points before. Take care of business, blow out a bad team the way good teams do. My score prediction this week, 27-13. Uh, I don't think it'll be as big of a game. Cowboys still cover the spread in this concept. We'll give them the old garbage time fourth quarter score. Not as explosive, but they go to the road, get in and get out with the win, and hopefully, fingers crossed, healthy for a tight turnaround with Thanksgiving just around the corner.